Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Uh, it's Australia Day here today. It is going to be 39 degrees here where I live in Mandra and it's going to be an absolute scorcher. So I've got my Australia football shirt on. Soccer, football, soccer, football. And I'm going to be using something that's quite common over here in Western Australia and in Australia in general. Snakes. Fine snake bite. I love menthol, I cannot wait to use this. It's gonna be stinking hot and this is gonna really hit the spot, hopefully. Hopefully I can get a good lather out of it because I'm not blooming the puck. I popped the puck into a mug, which hasn't left much room around the side, which is good. And this is my Rockingham Police Station mug. I survived the NAM. Rockingham's a crazy old place over here. If you live in Rockingham or you live anywhere near there, you'll know. Uh, and for use, those of you around the world, it's just it's a crazy place. That's why it gets called the NAM. Right, cold water shave. TF Custom Brush, made by Tony Forsyth, over in the Eastern States in Australia. It's starting to take on a bit of scent from all the soaps I'm using now. Beautiful soft brush. It's got a bit of backbone to it as well and hopefully it gets a good lather in this. I'm just going to take a little bit extra water in here today straight into this bowl, this mug and hopefully get something usable. <laughs> so it smells, it's, it's covered in menthol crystals. So hopefully this just blows my mind. That's my theory, that's my hope. I don't have snake bite aftershave to go with it unfortunately. I wish I did. From a dry puck, it seems to be loading the brush really well. But I'm going to go with that and just see what happens. There's not really any... Oh, I've just got a bit on my lip there and it's ice cold straight away. <whistles> now, do I bowl ladder or face ladder? I think I'll bowl ladder. I'm really enjoying using this little bowl here. This upon a Ficio Barracino Holy Grail bowl. I'm just going to take a little bit of water in there. That's that there, see it wobbling around. And straight in. I'm really surprised with this silt. To see this is a super hard puck. I mean it is rock solid. I couldn't even get the sides to squish in, in the bowl to actually get it to fill the whole bowl up. It's quite thirsty. As you can see. It's one of those soaps that's got no scent, but it's going to have performance and it's going to do wonders with the cooling sensation. I just know it. And if it doesn't, I might have to put a complaint in. <laughs> Such a comfortable bowl to hold this. you just got a real good grip of it. I find with other bowls, when you hold them in the palm of your hand, you sort of you can lose grip of them every now and then. This stuff is lathered and great. Look at that. Very quick load with a damp brush on a super hard puck. That's very, very impressive. Really creamy. It's got beautiful gloss. I don't know whether you can see the gloss on there. I think you can. I can see it on the camera. It's got beautiful gloss. Going for a cold water shave again. I've just had a shiver. I've given it sort of five minutes to let my hair firm back up again before I get stuck in. Right, I think I've got loads there, absolutely loads for three passes. I've got this on my finger and my finger's going cold, so <laughs> can't wait. My water this morning is quite cold, which is good. It's normally sort of lukewarm. No scent. Got a little bit of menthol crystal in there, but that's about it. Here we go. Been looking forward to this. This is one of the soaps that I've worn since I started wet shaving and just never got round to it. If I'm honest, I do. It's because it's a just a puck. I like things to come in a bowl, and I hear that the fine accoutrement. I think it's fine accoutrement. Is it? Oh, fine. I'm bringing a bowl out this year. So I'm hoping you can buy it separately. 
and then I can have a ball for my sneak bait. Already, I can feel this cooling my skin, which is good. I love menthol. But there's no real, there's no vapour coming from it. I'm not getting any vapour from it at all. I'm going to stick to vapour. I'm not a man of fumes. Fumes sound, sound bad for you. Nothing wrong with a bit of menthol vapour. And as you can see, oh, this is quite, this is going to be, oh yeah. This makes beautiful ladder. Absolutely beautiful ladder. I'm always apprehensive with hard pucks, more so since I've been using the Colonel Conks, which I've now moved on. I used to struggle a little bit with Colonel Conks until I got my ladder technique right. But these synthetic brushes, mate, oh, this is freezing cold already. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I've just set through my shave of the day pick into the Toz shaving group. On Facebook, see if I can try and win the competition. The competition, I probably don't know what they'll go away. Probably be a kangaroo tail or something. Right, where am I going to take this from? I'm going to take this whole side burn off actually. So this is the Gillette 7 o'clock. I think it's the third use. Yeah, third use. I've still got it in setting one, which I'm happy with at the moment. My skin's slowly becoming accustomed to the regular shaving. Beautiful slick, this is still really nice. I have got two days growth which is good because I, I needed to give my skin a bit of a rest. I was getting a bit crazy there every day shaves. Oh very nice. cooling sensation around my lips right now would knock you out, it's absolutely brilliant. Just for a sort of comparison, Sterling Glacial, lemon which I got, I think I've just got a little weep of there, just nicked that I think, could be wrong. I wasn't concentrating, I wasn't even looking at the looking at the shave for a second there, I don't know why I did that. This is way colder, in my opinion so far, than what the Glacial Lemon is, and it's cold. Every time I put this cold razor on my face, it's ice cold. It feels like I'm rubbing an ice cube on my face. For you guys out there that use snake bite all the time, or not all the time, but use that use it and have used it quite a lot off the same pup, it'd be interesting to find out if it's still as cold after the first shave. Because I can only imagine this, the menthol crystals go all the way through the soap, but I'm not sure if it does or not. Because it's covered in menthol crystals when you take it out. Well, I thought I nicked myself down here, I got, but I've got nothing. That's the beauty of these cold water shaves. Sometimes you think you've got something, you just haven't. Right, let's rinse off. That is freezing. I'm just going to go back to my bowl because I've got so much lathery. Just take another little scoop out. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. What I plan to do is actually get some snake bite aftershave eventually. But I'm also looking at the Osage rub or Osage rub, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. This is cold, really cold. Love it, absolutely love it. What a way to start a 40 degree day. As you can see, this lather, the lather's incredible on this, I'm really impressed. 
Now I'm not sure, I haven't actually looked too, too much into fine stuff, I'm not sure if this is an artisan or if it's a, not a major company. Let me actually have a look. It looks artisan style, so I'm assuming it will be. It's definitely lathers like an artisan soap because I haven't had an artisan soap other than Razor Rock that I've struggled to lather. And even Razor Rock was pretty good. Just doesn't work for me. I wasn't a big fan of the actual soap itself. Scents are just far too mild and I had a reaction to the last one I used. Cross the green. times like this when I do these sort of shaves that I wonder why I just I'm, I'm mad at myself that I haven't been doing this for years I should be mad at my dad really for putting me onto these bloody cartridge razors when I was a kid <laughs> it's all your fault dad Slickness in the soap, tremendous. Really, really impressed. That's just gliding over my skin. If I'm honest, I'm not feeling much here now. Just give you a bit of a slickness test on it. really impressive. It's not anywhere near as impressive as the cold. Here we go, cold water again. <laughs> it's getting colder. <sighs> Tremendous. And as you can see, oodles of lather from that quick load. I'm going to be a bit upset when I get to the end of this and I've got loads of lather left. I don't know what we do with it. Yes, so I'm gonna really load up on this third pass, why not? Well, I haven't even finished this shave guys. But if you can afford it and you like menthol, well actually you don't like menthol, you need to love menthol to love this. If you love that cooling sensation, you live in a hot country, so even if you're in sort of Texas or somewhere over in the States it's very warm. It might not be warm right now but really need to get hold of this, this is brilliant. Once they bring out a tub for this, and hopefully it's a nice tub, I hope they bring out something classy, because this soap deserves it. And this soap will be up there, definitely up there, it's, uh, I tell you what, it's creeped, it creeped into my top five, maybe even my, probably my top three, even honestly. It's just going to be an exciting year for soaps, for me personally anyway. I know most of you guys out there have tried all of these lather on this is just tremendous and it's freezing like f freezing freezing cold I can't emphasize how cold it is I really can't literally because I'm using cold water as well it feels like I'm pulling an ice cube across my face and every time I move it's just ice cold where I've just shaved the cream off the lather off and I'm getting a very very close shave Stuff. Yeah, 
that slickness is as good as anything I've tried. I mean, probably the most, in, in all fairness, the most slick soap I think I've actually used was probably the West Coast Shaving Soap Bay Rum. That was super slick. It wasn't the best lathering soap, didn't have the best properties, and it was a reasonably nice scent. I quite enjoyed the scent. But slickness wise, it was the slickest soap I've used, I think. This is definitely up there with it. And all the other artisans are slick, but this is super slick. I'm really happy with this. It could be the fact that it's so cold that it just doesn't feel like it's, you know, it could never feel not slick, if you know what I mean. Do you know what? I've got so much lather left, and I know it's sort of eating into this video and making it longer again. But I'm just going to load up every last bit of lather I can get out of this bowl. And just whip it on. I would not let put it on with my hand, but I love using this brush. Squeeze this all out yet. Look at that. Woo I'll just sort of move it about with the brush. Whew, tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Woo! Freezing, freezing tremendousness. And this is normally when I end up with little nicks and cuts because I overshave but I tell you what the slickness in this soap I, I don't even feel like I've had a pass yet I don't feel like I've got any irritation at all I know I will have because this numbs your skin yeah beautiful to the sink out because it's absolutely chockers full of hair and lather. Then I'll fill it up with some beautiful cold water and rinse off. I would normally do this off camera now, that seems to be my thing, but I'm going to keep this one on camera because I want to convey the message of coldness. If I get any cold water, that is, see my water's way warm already. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second once I get some cold water. And here we go. Oh, jeez. Well, shave doesn't get much cooler than that in my opinion. But interesting to find out how these other frostbites and arctics and things compare to that. That's beautiful. Push face, push face feel, push face feel, push shave feel, beautiful. One of the closest shaves I've had in fact. Jesus, that might be the closest shave I've had. I keep getting better and better shaves at the moment, guys, and obviously my technique's getting better. That's super close. I know I've done an extra pass, which has helped. I've got no irritation. All these little red bits here are actually just red dots on my skin. It's not, I've not irritated nothing that I know of anyway. Right, we're back in two seconds with the push. Okay, post shave. I'm going to go with a good splash of the Parasol for a bit of menthol kick, eucalyptus and menthol. I'm going to give this a good splash and see how it feels. It's got to burn like hell because I've probably overshaved my whole face, but... Oh, maybe not. What a great shave. And this Parasol green smells great. Best shave I've had 
without a, without a doubt, that's the best shave I've had. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. In fact, I may just have a bit of the old shaving evangelist seconds. That really brings out the cool. A bit in the old arms. Oh, tremendous, tremendous shave. Oh, right, I'm just going to finish off now. A little bit of. Let's see what it's actually called, aftershave balm. So it's a bit of scent in this. It's Purasso again. Just give it a bit of a shake because I haven't used this for a while. It's not the green though, unfortunately, it's Purasso blue. But that doesn't matter. So let's put, a bit, put a bit of moisture back in. There's not much scent off this anyway. And there we have it, the coldest shave I've ever had and quite possibly the best shave I've ever had. So, there we go. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's super smooth, super hydrated. Well guys, to the Aussie boys that are watching this, have a great Australia day. We're going to go out and have a bit of fun today, hopefully not too much because the heat out there is going to kill us. And then we might head up to Rockingham later for the fireworks display and hope you guys all rest have a great time have a great night and new subscribers thanks for coming along if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button and everyone out there stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive and i'll catch you guys later cheers